what it is, guys. It's your boy Blastmas HD, and we am here for BHD story time. Uh, this is a story I don't want to tell y'all for a long, long time. I never did, but I am here today to bring it to you for your listening pleasure. Okay, so look, so what it was was, at one point in my life, one of the reasons that I had stopped posting so much was because I was at the club. You know what I'm saying? I was shaking it up, shake it down, shake it all around, and it touched the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was all in there. And uh, anybody knows, if you're at the club, it's just like a bunch of women. You know what I'm saying? And in today's very, uh, uh, new type of society sometimes the women might not be a woman it's ma'am it is ma'am no you said sir what you get is ma'am yeah i'm saying and, and you know it's cool but you know you kind of got to be careful you know what i'm saying and with that being said that's one of the reasons why i don't drink because i remember that one song by ludicrous with t-pain in it if I buy one more drink. And then he ended up smashing a chick that looked like a whole booger wolf. And then had to chew his arm off in the morning. I'm not about to go through that shit, YouTube subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So instead uh, of doing that, all I do is usually just chew gum. That ain't drink water. Don't, don't ask me questions. Okay, so me and the whole squad of the homies, we all went out one night and we hit the club. You know what I'm saying? Night wasn't Christmas, but we were looking for ho ho hoes. They're always better in numbers. So yeah, you know, uh, one would say we was on the hunt. You know, I was with my homeboy and I'm not gonna name his name because he don't deserve for people to know this shit. Look, bro, I know you're watching this, who this story is really about, and I just want to let you know from deep down in my soul that I ain't sorry at all about telling people this story. Nigga, this shit is hilarious. Uh, so yeah, so we we approaching females and stuff, and he was, I ain't, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. You know what, y'all, I will keep it real with y'all. I wasn't even really approaching a bunch of women. You know what I'm saying? Because number one, I tend to be really, really, really picky. You know what I'm saying? And and since I'm so picky, I only go for what will be known as the prime rib. Either you gotta have prime rib personality or you gotta have prime rib tenderloin. You know what I'm saying? And when I say loin, it's gotta be athletic loin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> shaved. Uh, but, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? I like my loin to be prime. So whenever I get around loin that I am not particularly indulging in a affinity for, you know what I'm saying? I just tend to start cracking jokes and or I just go completely silent because her loin don't look tender enough. So, uh, you know, he was approaching a whole bunch of females and I was his backup. I was his wing man and I had, I had pulled him out the fire and flames a couple times, just maybe only two or three, but I was, I was doing good wing man work and, and he was initiating the situations. He picks it up, throws it back, I grab it and put it in the satchel. It was 100% teamwork on that night. So yeah, bro, so he had, he, he had approached, no lie, like seven of them. Yeah, you know I'm saying? And from an observer's standpoint, we thought they went pretty good. Yeah, you know I'm saying? I don't have a lot of like experience just running up on random chicks, except the times when I do. But like, I thought that they went good. I was like, okay, those. She smiled a couple times, gave a number or a piece of paper with something written on it. So then we had, had so much fun up in the club, man. All the time it passed fast as shit. Wow. You mother, you mother, you shut up. They weren't all men. Damn it. She hating, she, she a hater. Most of them look like women. No, they were all women, except for the ones that weren't. Look, you don't just assume stuff about people. No matter how big their hands or Adam's apple is, so you know this stuff. I only on one of them. The other ones were girls. I, 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 I am. Well, you got the number. You should. 
first off, got the number. Shit, I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> Wait, look, you're ruining this. You're making this awful. I was listening to the story, and now I have to come make fun of you because you and your group of dudes was just like it's not our fault. Movie we old. thought they we were women. The having fun, and the one homeboy was talking to the dude. Most of them ladies. were women. The, the man ladies. Most of them were women. Are you sure? Okay, you no, sure? Okay, but. So. Shut up! <laughs> How about that? Freaking snitch! <laughs> look, I'm gonna tell the story, and they gonna know that that uh uh uh. Look, are they? No. What are they gonna find out from this particular story? In their PhD. What, what are they gonna find out? They're gonna find out that we didn't do it. <laughs> so shut up! <laughs> That's what they're gonna find out. Look, this is what happened. Okay, so look, at, at the end of the night, after the club was already done and stuff, mm -hmm. and we had already, we was like chilling and stuff, oh, and then the homie, shut up! We had played! Look! 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 Wow! We invited them somewhere else to We, that's only a little bit. Oh. Shit, shut up! <laughs> I will set you on fire right now. He's leaving out the juicy bit. I am trying to. <laughs> no, you're making them seem juicier than they really are. I mean, y'all all hung out after the club? It wasn't a lot. So, look, what happened was. Okay, so look, at the end of the night, after approaching like six or seven females, got super confident. Shit, I know, I'm gonna edit that out. Damn it, look, no one's gonna know it was him. Shit. So, so look, so at the end of the night, we saw this one chick, and he was like, I'm gonna go talk to that one. And I'm like, and I'm gonna watch you do it close by. And he was like, yes, I'm on my, I'm, we doing it now. And I'm like, I'm already three steps into this. You went over there to Of course I went with him. I'm not gonna have him going alone. Because. I'm gonna try to holler first and then. No, that was not my plan. <laughs> No, no. My plan was, I thought maybe she had a friend. She probably that? did have lots of friends. Wow, yeah. not men, not men. Women friends. They were women. They, they were women, women friends. On. You're a douche bag. <laughs> you are a douche bag. So what happened was, I went over there with him, and he started talking first, and he was like, what up? My name is... Stop saying his name. Shit, you right. Damn it. So then, I'm gonna edit that out. So then, he was like, so then, the female, and I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a female at first, too. I did. What? Shut up. <laughs> Until I tend to believe people when they tell me something. If your hair did, you got makeup on, and you're, and you're wearing a skirt, you know what I mean? I'm gonna believe you. I'm gonna believe, you. I'm gonna believe it a little bit, at least a little bit. The chick, I had, I had my doubts. I had my doubts. Oh. Until she started talking. Man, whole sounded like Barry White. I don't know, maybe he didn't hear Barry White. Maybe he heard Holly Berry. Oh, he took it home, so. I heard Barry White. I was like, hold on now. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I I was sure enough to not talk anymore at all. When I heard, I just stood back just like, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because at that point, when you go up to talk to a girl and you find out that it's not a girl. As a wingman, to me, it's every yeah, man for himself. I walk, I backed away slowly like Homer Simpson in them bushes. I wasn't, I didn't want to be rude or nothing, which is why I didn't just be like, oh shit, it's a nigga. I didn't do that because that's not nice. So I was, I just got quiet and hoped the homie picked it up, but he didn't. And I figured since he didn't, that he wanted that. Right. I thought he wanted that. I was, I, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, float your boat. So then, when the club gets shut down, man, we all walking out and everybody calling all the numbers that they had got to see if anybody down to come back to the crib uh, for back shots. Absolutely no women showed up. Oh. I say, well, I- Y'all took like four people home, did you? We did, we did not. <laughs> we didn't take any. He said no women showed up. We didn't took any people home. We got back to the crib, and then everybody called the numbers of the females they had gotten to see if anybody was coming, trying to trying to get the raw dog or uh, the bell hop, huckle back. Mm -hmm. Definitely sex. Yeah. Look. Broke back. No, absolutely. <laughs> wow. 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 That's how you feel. 
Ha! Broke back mountain. Is that is that the reference you bring? You ain't shit. That is that is shitty even for you. <laughs> wow. What? Wow. It's not what. Sh shut up. <laughs> Look. What happened was everybody called up every female of the nu every number that they had gotten of the of the females that they had gotten them from, but nobody showed up except for the the girl, comma, <laughs> that the homie blank. I hope you really pooped. bleep his name out. It's of course I'm game. gonna bleep his name. I would never do that. Sometimes? <laughs> what? Oh, wow, at on least, the air. At least be, bleep his name out when you get it. You hear how she treats me? Because you're being You hear how she treats me? What? That is the worst face No. Ever. Come on. Who does that? So then the, the dude, I mean the girl, get there and, and I'm going to describe her to y'all. She kind of look exactly like that that female that was off of that it's real a five skit the one where the girl was a guy yeah you know i'm saying that's what she she did not have a lot of hair first off you know and and that was the one that y'all tried to holler at why you keep putting me in this you, i only you, the weak man. you messed up for not even trying to tell a nigga though that's messed up. i figured that's what he wanted what? It's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's true. I can't judge where people put their happiness into or get it out of. You know, I figured, you know, hey, you like it, then I love that you like it. So, the girl, quotation marks, <laughs> see, that's respectful. It was, there, there's someone that this is the internet someone's always gonna be pissed but uh but yeah so the girl quotation marks shows up and i'm looking out the window while he walking up she she i said she <laughs> i said she while the guy the okay look her name is josephina it's got a little bit of both in there isn't that good the thing that like let me know that she wasn't a girl was mustache is it wrong that that is what let me know? Look, it wasn't really, really thick, but it was there. If the girl didn't have a full blow like mustache, then I would have never known 100%. Yeah, you know I'm saying what she lacked in mustache hair, she made up for by the broadness of her shoulders. You know how they say baby had back? Well, baby had buff back. Yeah, I'm saying. So when Josephina got to the crib, she came in and we all welcomed her with open arms. No, shut up. And I can tell by the look on everybody else's face that everybody knew. We all knew, except for the homie. So it got awkward because then we all started this like really awkward game of we got to signal to the homie that that's a guy but in a way that doesn't offend the guy <laughs> man so first we all had a secret meeting in the basement i led the situation i ain't never gonna lie to you i'm gonna tell you exactly what i said yeah i wanted to be clear and concise first off that's a man all right let's keep it real because everybody was trying to act like it wasn't what it clearly was but then when I was like, hey, look, first off, look, skirt all that, that's a fucking guy. Like, that's a grown ass man upstairs walking hand in hand with the homie. Cause they were holding hands. Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> I know! How do you know that that's what we had to figure out? Who's gonna tell him? <gasps> Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> he was too happy. Man, how long had it been? Yo, he really was happy. People See, don't he understand. Didn't ruin their I, that's the worst part. That's the messed up part. I was, I was like, you know what I mean? On one hand, I'm like, yo, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen him this happy in months. Man. You know what I mean? Right. And on the other hand, I'm like, but if I don't tell him, are you the douche? Am I the a hole in this situation for not letting him know that 
I mean, he would have that he was eventually, right? Wow. What? Wow. Maybe he did like that. He just was did embarrassed to tell y'all. That's kind of something you gotta let us know up front. Man, we try every signal in the book See, to inadvertently. Then they, maybe that's what he liked and didn't want to tell y'all because y'all was gonna make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he knew. Oh man, look. I mean, y'all knew. We really, what we was, we look, is it bad that we really were gonna make fun of him? I was trying to use special wording and stuff. Hey, so what would your date like to drink? He, I mean, she, it looks very parched. Is, is, do you like Sunny Delight? Ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. First of Dude, all, that, pr just call him ma that right. particular ma'am was fooling nobody. So look, none of the warnings worked and they ended up going out back. <laughs> All the way out back. Wow, broke back mountain jokes. <laughs> That's what we're doing now. What? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he would have broke back protein. meat. You're gonna say his so name? Wow. <laughs> so you're gonna say his you name? It's Just different. We'll edit it out. <laughs> Wow. Okay, it's not his fault that found a chick with a little bit of extra meat in her taco. So yeah, so they went out back and next to the pool, they were sitting on the lawn chairs watching the sun come up together. Out back next to the lawn. Shut up! Shut up! What? Okay. You're the worst person. And it's real messed up because like, if I really look back on it, I'm not even joking. Like the sun was coming up. It was like 5.30 in the morning at this point. I know it was really romantic. <laughs> it was. I want y'all to picture a house full of niggas drawing straws. We literally drew straws. To see who's gonna To see who was gonna go tell them. Oh, y'all was doing it wrong. I was gonna bet money. <laughs> y'all should have did that. Y'all did that all wrong. How how long you think it's gonna take them to figure it out? I give them two hours. <laughs> we didn't know if you liked the man. Well, you he know could now. really have been falling for the okie doke. So of course I drew the straw that made me have to go and tell him. Look, I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. I thought it was gonna be funny. I thought it was gonna be funny, man. <laughs> There's no better expression than when you tell your homeboy he's been walking hand in hand with a grown ass guy. Like, <laughs> you know that fee, you know your last girlfriend was a dude, right? <laughs> you know your girlfriend has a bigger penis than you. Oh. And me probably. So it's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. I go out there and I'm just like, hey bro, you know, it's getting late, man. And he's like, oh yeah, man, you know, it's okay if, if she stays the night. <laughs> And I was like, oh man, um, I was like, I'm gonna put a wrench in this plan. I was like, hey man, gotta work, we gotta edit videos, bro. We got like a bunch of, cause I was doing the voiceover dub. I was, I was finishing up the Nemesis voiceover dub. We gotta do that voiceover dub, bro. And I'm gonna need you editing. And I swear, uh. the ma'am knew that I knew. But if that's the case, why she ain't tell us? You have to go around and let everybody know you meet him. That's messed up. Man. If you're there to have sex with my homeboy, I have to know that he knows. Why? Because I'm a snake. I'm a I'm a, I'm a stop him. Because Why? I'm going to do what, what any like? real homie would do. No, if, a real homie if would let it happen. Wow. <laughs> Look, if any of y'all saw me out there and I was talking to a known man, please step in. <laughs> Please say that. If it look like I'm having a good time, it's stop way me. To make fun of you later. Wow. <laughs> wow. What? Please save me if y'all see. Please stop. <laughs> Help me because I've probably been roofied. I've been roofied. Nice. Get. I've been roofied nice. or something. Nice. Help. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Please help me. If you got, if you really love me, come up there and wing man me out of this. After the girl left. Y'all have been fucking it up all night for the ma'am. Y'all was ruining it. Hey, look, man, that nigga gonna have to go get laid somewhere else. 
Okay, I'm talking about his date. Can you imagine? I ain't gonna do that to the homie. He did it to himself. What you mean? Unless he I am told. He did that to himself. He got the numbers. He talked to this person. He invited this person over. And he ignored every single hint and clue that y'all was trying to give him. Because if those was the clues that y'all was trying to give him, maybe he's not dumb. He just liked it. Oh, my God. So, y'all, y'all, that's why he was testing it out. And y'all was doing that. So, he was like, okay. Because he couldn't tell y'all because y'all was making fun of him. Oh, no. No. Just know, any hope boys no. out there that are like that. You're gonna get made fun of, but if your homeboys like you, they probably don't care, so. That's real, hey look, we wouldn't have cared. <laughs> no, we wouldn't have judged them, judged them. Like, we wouldn't have like, really. We would have made fun, we would have cracked jokes. I'm not gonna for sit like here and 10, say I would. For like 10 years. Nigga, I'd have, I'd, have, I'd, have cracked, I'd have cracked jokes. I ain't, I'm gonna crack jokes, but I wouldn't have judged it for them. I would have cracked some jokes though. It wouldn't have been a bunch of jokes. <laughs> yes, it would have been. It would have been a bunch of jokes. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Who's the top? Like, ah! You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just little stuff. Just little stuff. I ain't gonna lie, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, though. Based on their interactions, the homie was the bottom. <laughs> like, I, I was. Bro, I was. Is that it? Because you, you know what I mean? When you see men and women interact, the one that's listening to the other one the most is the bottom. Like, you know what I mean? She. And or he was running all the shots. Like, when when I was like, yo, we got to edit all night, he looked over at the chick dude for confirmation. Like, is that okay? But like, based on his body, like, I, could, I could tell that they obviously, they, they met up, that they met up somewhere later on after that. Look, <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> I accept everybody for who they is. You know what I'm saying? Your gender preference don't make me no never mind. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't try to touch my happy place, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I've had gay friends. I've had, you know, females that were dudes and dudes that were females. I've had all those friends. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? As long as you're nice to me, then I'm nice to you. I'm very accepting. You know what I'm saying? But the one thing I won't like is if tricking. That, that's not nice. That's not nice. But, I mean, but based on every, honestly, based on everything that you've said to me in this story, I just now realized that he he was with it. He was down. I didn't know. <laughs> Look, it's guys, that's cool. I would never, I'll never say anything to him unless he says something to me first. That's completely cool. You know what I mean? I the only question I'll have for him is. Why didn't you? You're like, if you going to bring a dude to the crib, nigga, you got to let us know. <laughs> what you think we going to do? Yeah. We was over there utilizing Operation to Help the Homie and shit. <laughs> we thought we were saving his ass, literally. <laughs> ah, Y'all was just stopping him from getting some. We was trying to. We didn't know we were stopping the homie from getting laid. We thought we were stopping the homie from getting played. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't stop him before he go in the room with her and shit. Look here, homie. If you go in that room, nothing will ever be the same. <laughs> okay, please. Please. Think about us. All right? We young niggas. Okay? Do we deserve this shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. Way to make it all about you. Of course. How selfish. What you thought? <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. What happened after y'all drew straws and you came over there and let him know that he... They, I, I gave them some time to say their goodbyes. Like they were obviously very fond of one another, which was like, damn, these dudes really like each other. But the, you know what I mean? But instead it was like, I gotta save my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I can't let him go out like that, son. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, you know, I love everybody. I really do. You should always be comfortable in your skin, regardless of what you like or who you are. This is just a comedy story. <laughs> you know, I hope this doesn't, like, you know, ruffle anybody out of what having a nice day. What happened after you told him? What happened after I told him? He acted like he didn't know. He just, oh, what? No! A guy? No, no, he kept trying to convince us it wasn't a guy, but we was like, yeah, that nigga, I, nigga, I know a nigga. I'm not gonna say he did or didn't. 
All I will say is, you know, be comfortable who you is, man. <laughs> but please, d- d- you got just, you know what I mean? You gotta let, you gotta let people know. You know what I'm saying? Like, just let people know. But honestly, to keep what it real, you do it so they don't embarrass you when you try to bring your friends over. Yeah, that's that's, like that, bro. We mistake we was setting all the whole time, bro. We was setting up Home Alone booby traps <laughs> to try to, yeah, you know I mean, try to hopefully he could see that 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 something was afoot. <laughs> I bet he knew some fools with Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> if you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>